Okay, I wanted to make another little succulent update video. Here's one of my succulent border beds in my front yard. And you can see I burned my grass, too much fertilizer, good job. But I'm gonna take this blue glow that's right here and I'm gonna put this in a pot. And the reason I'm doing it is because these weeds underneath, so for a long time this blue glow was one of my favorite plants. Um, but I gotta move it, I can't handle these weeds. So I'm actually gonna do it and dig it up. It's gonna be sharp. I don't know how I'm gonna handle it yet, but let's give it a try. Okay, taking this out of the ground was pretty dramatic, I'll tell you. I was afraid of these spikes. But you can see now, finally, I can get rid of these weeds. I know that sounds dumb, but I'm gonna get rid of them, put it in a pot. This thing was pretty big and pretty darn heavy. So, I'm pretty satisfied I got it out without impaling myself at all. Okay, I brought the plant back to my patio, but I wanted to show once uh, why they call it Blue Glow. So, I'm on my patio in the backyard and the light's behind it, and it glows. So, this is where I'm going to do the work on the plant. Uh, I'm going to clean up the roots and put it in a pot. I think it's going to look fantastic. That's a really nice plant with a cool glow. I want to get this clean as possible and the best way I can think of to do it is with water. I'm just going to wash all the dirt off the roots and have a very clean plant in the end. Look at all that weed that's in there. There's, there's tons. I already tore for most of it out. But I think this is working out really well. Well, I, I found this in there. Uh, I gotta find out what all these roots are here. How many are from the plant and how many are from the weeds? Because I've already taken enough out that you can tell it's got a serious root structure, those weeds do. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna get rid of this here. I'm just getting rid of all kinds of pests and weeds. Oh man, I do not want to pass. Okay, quick project update. Um, I bought a new pot. I ended up not liking the one that I used before. And I have a new one. It's gonna match the colors I'm looking for out here and the style. So, today's project is moving the agave into its new pot. Part of the problem of this project is that these things are really hard to move with a plant in it and they're kinda heavy. So, I'm gonna have to 
dismantle it in place and then move the other one in. Once I get it in there, it's not gonna move. So I have to take this out and obviously the problem is it's completely pokey. But it wasn't rooted at all, so it wasn't too hard. Because my new pot's nice and I like it, I have to cut this back. This is a ripple jade. The thing grows like crazy. I'm gonna cut it way back. So I'm taking off a lot of this. This is really, I just cut off about three years worth of growth. I think this is a lot better here. Okay, while I'm here, I wanna cut off a few more of these leaves. Um, this is the only chance I'm ever going to get to do this, so I want to take it. So here's the final product with the blue glow in its new pot. Um, it will be moving soon, but for now this is what I have and I think it's a huge improvement. And here's the plant in the evening. It's called blue glow because of the way that the edge of the leaves glow that yellow. Really nice. Um, it really does look good. and. It looks good in that pot too.